NASA's Mega Moon rocket will stay on the launch pad for now with a planned liftoff for Tuesday. But leaders say, of course, that could all change depending on the weather. News 6's James Sparvero is at Kennedy Space Center with what's at stake for the mission if it faces another delay. By Saturday afternoon, NASA says it will decide if attempting to finally launch Artemis 1 on Tuesday is worth risking the threat of a major storm. The space launch system to move indoors with a rollback from pad 39B to the vehicle assembly building, NASA says if the weather is bad enough. It's still a tropical depression number nine. It's not a named storm. We really want to continue to try to get as much information as we can so we can make the best possible decision. Wednesday, NASA concluded it met all objectives during a nine-hour fueling test, including some not accomplished in previous tests and the two launch attempts. Also in Friday's teleconference, mission managers say the Space Force has approved NASA's request to bypass recertifying the flight termination system, which only could have been done inside the VAB. We've got a launch vehicle that is ready to go, so if we have an opportunity, we would like to launch it on Tuesday. If Artemis 1 still can't get off the ground Tuesday or Sunday, October 2nd, the current backup window, the next chance for liftoff wouldn't be until October 17th. Right now, the Space Force says the 70-minute launch window opening Tuesday morning at 11.37 has an 80% chance of a weather violation. We want to protect the vehicle, and certainly we'll have to make a decision over the next 24 hours. And whenever NASA makes its decision and how that decision impacts the next launch attempt of Artemis 1, we'll bring you that update right here on News 6 and clickorlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.